Now, when you start to explore gamma and epsilon, especially in certain ranges, you're getting into very advanced brainwave states. And remember, this can all be produced at will by who's ever controlling the transmitter, like a cell phone. So you could cause a mass riot where people are angry, or hear voices. Don't think it hasn't been done. This has already been done in the first uh, uh, Gulf War. The, the militant Islamic enemy were all listening to a particular AM radio station uh, during the first uh, Operation Desert Storm. But the American military, using mind control technology, attached an invisible rider on the AM frequency, which was the, 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 the you know, like AM 740 or whatever. They attached a rider on the particular AM frequency that all these extremist Muslims would be listening to. And they knew that American soldiers wouldn't be listening to this station because Americans don't speak the language and they wouldn't be interested in the music. So they're able to target the population. Okay, so the, the rider that they put, or the rider frequency that they attached on the AM signal frequency contained what is called voice to God technology, where all the people listening to this uh, music station, Iraqi music station, actually heard when they were listening to that station in their heads. They couldn't hear it audibly, but they heard in their heads the voice of God commanding them to surrender to the American and commanding them to lay down their weapons. That's called voice to God technology. So that can be done not just with an AM signal. It can be done with a cell phone signal. 